wanted to share with you today was um, something that happened with my, it's got to do with my son, my almost seven year old son. Um, and you know how you, as parents, we try and we teach values to our children and we teach, we try and teach them how to differentiate between right and wrong. But you know what, no matter how much you try, um, these things come by experience with your children, with your children. You know, they need to experience things and be able to uh, make their own decisions about certain stuff so that they can feel, you know, inside of them what is right and what is wrong. So obviously we raised, we're raising our kids with our own type of um, mindset and uh, values and belief systems, um, as are you, okay? Anyway, so the other day we were at a, we were at a outdoors um, playground um, and my son came to me and he told me that there were some boys from the neighborhood and they were climbing, they were climbing up a pole and climbing onto a roof a rooftop that was next to the playground and the owner of the, the coffee shop that we were sitting at he had to tell the other boys off and my son came and told me that the other boys all the other boys were telling him to climb up and climb up and climb up but he he, he resisted and he told them no he wasn't gonna climb up and he didn't because he knew it wasn't for him the right thing to do so when he told me this I didn't go into praise mode and into um, wow my boy well done you know and start feeling all chuffed about what a good job I am doing with my son no I went I went deeper and I went to, I went in and I asked him so how did you know how did you know what was right for you what what's telling you that this is not okay that, that for you this is not okay and what made you stick to that and and he got to dig inside of himself and see where in his body he could feel the prompting. You know, this is emotional intelligence, guys. This is teaching your children to be connected to their bodies, to be connected to their instincts and their guts, and not feel pressured by their peers, because it'll come in even bigger blows. And I think this was his first lesson. This was his first lesson in um, following his heart without mommy or daddy being next to him, okay? So there's also an empowerment um, feature here, and. Uh, and a choice feature and a, and, and a control, you know, and then he gets to decide what he wants to do and not by the pressure of other kids around him. So this is what I wanted to share with you and turning it around now onto you, onto you, and turning the spotlight now onto you, I want you to think about um, what are you doing in your life that is causing you to bend to the pressures of your peers or the social culture around you and the conditioning of your past and of your childhood how are you bending you know where you don't really want to bend okay um, I'm not saying you should be rigid no the more flexible you are in your life the better the more choices you have okay I remember my coach my trainer I'll never forget one of his lessons he taught me was to be fluid like water okay like Bruce Lee the more fluid you are, the more choices you allow yourself to have, okay? When you're rigid, like a stick, a, a rigid stick, when you bend, then it's going to break, okay? But if it's a, a flexible stick, like a, a branch, flexible branch, when you bend, then it's going to fold, then it's going to bend, then it's going to blow in the wind. But a rigid stick is going to break in the wind, okay? So I want you to see how you can be more flexible and more fluid in your life and with your children and in your choices. And by all means, uh, your friends are going to do stuff that you don't really, you're not really into. And I mean, we're old enough to understand peer pressure, but it goes far beyond that. Um, peer pressure is also social conditioning, um, your environment, your family members. So become aware of the things that you're that you're that you're bending to because you don't want to, and bend more towards the things that you do want to bend to. Okay. Um, honor your beliefs and honor your values as, as who you are on this planet, okay? There's nobody you have to um, please. Don't be a people pleaser. And if you are a people pleaser, consider your, your reasons why, right? You probably have some secondary gain there for the reasons why you want to please people. But that's a whole other video, which I'll go into maybe next time, okay? I love you lots. I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, a gorgeous weekend have a beautiful day 
I'm excited for the for wrapping up the, the workshop today. Um, I'm, I feel honored to be on this journey and there's lots more coming. The, web, the workshops are going to start going live on, on webinars. So if you're interested, please connect with me. Um, I'd love to, to take this journey further with you. If you're interested in the Conscious Parenting Workshop but you're far away, the webinars are the answer for you, okay? I will still be giving it live in training, live, um, but in the comfort of your own home. So that'll be a beautiful experience. 